Hey Freedom Family, I am so excited about what we're talking about this week. We are talking about encouraging communities and myself. And I want to go ahead and jump right into what we're going to be reading from today. I'm going to read from Luke chapter 9 verses 12 through 14. And it says, Late in the afternoon, the twelve disciples came to Jesus and said, Send the crowds away to the nearby villages and farms so they can find food and lodging for the night. There is nothing to eat here in this remote place. But Jesus said, you feed them. But we only have five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Or are you expecting us to go and buy enough food for this whole crowd? For there are about 5,000 men there. So um, there's a lot to unpack here. I'm very excited. Um, I first want to share a story from my, it's so humid. <laughs> I want to share a story from my childhood. And uh, I was in kids camp and I was in fifth grade. And... I, it was about midnight and one of the girls in my cabin came to me and we had been friends kind of sort of at church. Um, I tried talking to her and she was kind of standoffish, whatever. And she came to me and she said, can I tell you something? And I was like, yeah, sure. Tell me anything. She told me everything. Oh my goodness. All of the trauma that her family had endured, the abuse, the assault, the molestation, everything. And I am in fifth grade and I'm not fully understanding most of what she's talking about because I'm in fifth grade. <laughs> and I just remember thinking, wow, I don't know what to do. I can't fix your situation. I can't make you feel better. I don't have the right words to say to dispel all of the residual effects of what has happened to you and your family. Like, I just remember, I just remember thinking, wow, like, that, what, what, what do I do? Like, are you expect, like, I remember thinking, God, why, why is she telling me this? Are you expecting me to fix this? And I'm sure that's exactly how the disciples felt like, dude, you're crazy. Why is this the need that needs to be presented to us? The need is so great. The need is so massive. This problem is so much bigger than us. And I want to encourage you with something. God's not asking you to meet an entire need. He's asking you to take stock of what you have and share it with others. Um, the disciples took, took inventory. What do we have? We've got some bread and we've got some fish. This is what we got. <laughs> and God, Jesus was like, yes, that's enough. Bring it to me. And so fifth, fifth grade Bethany was like, okay, I don't know what else to do except pray. So, uh, do you want me to pray for you? <laughs> so I prayed for her. And then afterwards I was like, Okay, cool. This is still really heavy and it's still here. The need is still here. There's 5,000 people still here. And okay. <laughs> like, and so I was like, um, okay, what else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? Do you know Jesus? <laughs> is he your savior? Oh, he's not. Do you want him to be? <laughs> and then I led her to the Lord and it was awesome. But, um, so I just want to encourage you with that. I want to encourage you that God's not asking you to fix everything. He's asking you to just share what you have. Can you make a phone call? Can you send a text? Can you make some extra cookies tonight and knock on your neighbor's door and give them the extra cookies that you've made? You know, sometimes whenever we're presented with a need or someone needs encouragement, we come up with all of these things. I don't have time. I'm working. My kid, I got to pick up my kid after school. Well, I can't do Saturday because Saturday we have to go to the grocery store and then grandma's coming over. And we think of all of these reasons why we can't help because we feel so ill-equipped. But just take stock of what you have and share what little you got, and Jesus will take care of the rest. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, God, thank you so much for my freedom family. Thank you so much that you love people so deeply and so persistently, and that um, you understand that the needs are great. The needs in our community is great, but you're not asking us to fix a community. You're asking us to share what we have. We have Jesus. We have hope. 
we can pray. Um, sometimes we can give our time. And so God, I pray that you will help empower us to share what little we have so that you can step in and take care of the rest. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye.